Hello and welcome to Super Album Sound. I'm Matt. And today we're reviewing Supergirl. Tell them. You love this episode. <laughs> They'll... Yeah, because there was plenty of references. Such as? Come on, man. You know how I get down. Lex Luthor references. Yeah, great. Like... More of them. Let's yes. just keep talking about Lex. Let's talk yeah. about a better character. That's yes. awesome. Well, That's we what made me love this show. We know he's been in prison for years. I figured he'd only been in prison for like a couple months. I don't know why. No, it must be a couple months. The show's been on for three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But when they they say years, for some reason, I automatically think like ten years. Don't know why. So yeah, it must have been a while anyway, because like. In terms of Supergirl, you know, when you had that flashback episode, like she was in school and she said like Superman nobbled him, so he must have been in prison for about. Yeah, how many times has he like escaped and gone back? Though? Who knows? He must have been in prison for about twenty years, I'd figure, already. Um, so yeah, one annoying thing, or maybe not annoying, but like do you know when uh, Jim is like he breaks into L Corp and then he's like oh, going to open the vault and he decides against it. I thought we were going to get like an after episode sequence of her going to the vault and there was going to be stuff in there. But I think, oh, there is. I think they're resigned to not making her evil. No, because I thought she would have shit her pants. Like when he, oh, said, when he said, oh, I broke into L Corp and I went to your vault. Like if she started like shitting herself, then then you would have been like, you know what I mean? But she yeah, was she calm probably about moved it. it. There's something somewhere. Whether she's evil or not, there's something somewhere. What does she mean she's created kryptonite? Oh, Lena, you so smart. Uh, that's a plot device, I think. Oh. How, can you, how can you create krypton? Um... That's what it is, it's broken up pieces of the planet. I don't get it. How would you create Krypton? Well, that makes no sense. Radioactive, um, whatever. Um, I know they do it, they've done it in a ton of shows where they ma where they can make Kryptonite. You just put a bunch of chemicals together and artificially make it. I know they, they do it on Lego Batman 2, the game. But yeah, I, I think that's a sly thing for, uh, in the next episode. Oh, Lena, um, I know we mugged you off for Kryptonite a couple episodes ago and I was looking at you like a piece of shit, but can you whip us up some black Kryptonite players so we can save Sam? That's what's going on. Or she wouldn't have mentioned it. She, uh, oh, by the by the way, it just so happens I can make kryptonite. So she's going to be like, oh, I need I need some black stuff then. I need to split them. So, I, yeah, they mm -hmm. tried to they tried to slide that one, but I saw straight through that. Um, so go on then. Go on then what? I thought it was kind of hot when she was on the Legion ship and then she started flying it and then Brainiac was like talking to her like, you know what I mean, John, when she's like, boop, 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 and doing shit. That was kind of cool. Um, I, f I thought that Valley thing was a bit of a knockoff at the Phantom Zone. I thought Sam was doing some good acting. That was impressive. Okay, yeah, there you go. I said something positive. I thought she was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, maybe a bit over the top, but yeah, pretty good. I still hate that whole dream world thing. It does my head in. It was like a shit phantom zone. Shit something. You're right about that part. And this is some bizarro world. This cut the crap. I don't like the whole there's two of them in there, but what are you going to do? I... Why did they make such a big deal out of how it's getting like a, a gun with a magnet on it? Uh, no, a suit's got a magnet. Um, oh, well, that, that's way better. I, I guess they need it for plot devices. Like, like it's not like, like... I get that. I don't care about her having a suit. I just I don't get why we're making such a show of it. Oh, because it's trying to make her relevant. I thought she'd be climbing buildings like Spider-Man with it. But instead she just kind of catches her gun and jacks his uh, Legion ring. The way they were talking about it, I thought she was going to be like Magneto. Like she talked about magnets and whatnot. I thought she could control stuff, but she literally used it to get a gun. Mm. And a gun's kind of batty as well. I don't even notice the difference in a suit either. I think Lena needs to put pieces together, to be honest, because I mean, the fact that Jim Jimmy has just been like, oh, by the way, I'm Guardian. Like, come on. Yeah. 
come on. She's got. There's no way she can't have put it together. I'd be very disappointed if like Supergirl has to go up to her and say, "Oh yeah, I'm Kara," and she's like, "Oh, like she's got to be like, yeah, I know, but I wanted you to tell me in my own time." There's no way she can't know. Yeah. Guardian, Guardian hangs out with Wynn all the time. The sister works there. You have to be a right dummy not to be able to put it together. I would have preferred if Lena got got with Wynn than Jimmy Olsen, because I think they blend better together. Because you know, ages ago, like I think we talked when we first started reviewing Supergirl, like last season, and they kind of had some interactions together, her and Wynn. I think they're better suited as a couple. And the fact that his like his dad's toy man, you know what I mean? I think they would have had a better repart repartee than fucking. Her and Jimmy, you know what I mean. I think they just did that to be shocking, but I think the better pair would have been her and Win. But I don't know, but they want to find some place with Jimmy. I'd rather Jimmy's revert to Supergirl. That's horrendous. Hmm. Um. What else happened? Oh, Rain has all of their powers now, but I guess um, Manel wants out of the marriage. Their mission. What? Their mission's complete, so now it's like, is Monel gonna go off to the Legion, or is he gonna be like, in where you go, I have to stay and be with my girl? Uh, Cause the that, easiest thing to do would be to kill her. Monel's still baggage, isn't he? Yeah. Like, there was a fight this episode as well, and he got battered. <laughs> I've, keeps, I've given up. <laughs> Keeps getting, he was flying around and he's like, uh, and he's on his ass. Like I've never seen him have a f like win a fight, like ever. No, the, like, the closest he got was with that, like that cape thing with the dinosaur. We only got that sort of get ridiculous <laughs> dirty dancing shit in the next episode. Yeah, uh, he's lame. Uh, he has, he hasn't. Yeah, he is. He, he's ne pretty sure he's never won a fight. He's always get he always gets knocked on his ass. Like uh, so, yeah. I mean, the, I thought I thought the episode was good, and I think yeah, they're low key like slime stuff. But I figured they've got a split. They've got a split Sam and Rain now. I want to see what was in that vault. Like, Lena came out and asked Supergirl who she was, and she kind of like if she's got someone in the vault, someone's got to push her to go in there. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, as long as it's not Doomsday or something. Yeah, I really don't think Supergirl not telling her that she's Kara's, Kara is really going to be like, oh, that's it. Like, I can't imagine her going after Supergirl because she didn't tell her she was Kara. That that don't make no sense to me. So I just really don't get what's going to, unless she has a complete... Like, unless she's really been slying stuff since day one, and, like, you go into the vault and it's like... Do you know, like, in the like the first seasons of Smallville, where Lex had that room and he had the car in it, and all the, like, different yeah. things? Like, unless the vault's that, and she's got, like, pictures of car, everyone's identity up on the wall, then and she's been slying it all this time. I don't know. I don't know what no. to do. No, but do I? Oh, one of the one of the world destroyers, whatever they're called, got killed, right? Both of them did. I couldn't quite figure that out. So she killed she killed her with like the canary scream thing. Yeah, like pestilence poised like got her with the claws, and then she blasted her face off. See, well, I thought that was kind of cool until I remembered already seeing that in Bloody Arrow this season. Yeah, and then and then all the pow or both of their powers went into rain. Okay. So now rain's super duper. She's got the poison claws. She's got the cry, and she's got a normal Kryptonian. So what's with this? She dropped a lot. Before I get to that, the whole rise up thing that was goofy, or whatever. The um, she said, "You take someone of evil strength to kill me." What does that mean? Is, is, does that mean like Sam and her are going to get split and then Sam's going to kill her? No, it's like, do you know, like, the it is like a world killer, I guess. Yeah, but can that be Sam? Can't you use, like, you're talking about black kryptonite? No, nah, whatever because... whatever kryptonite splits them. Can't just split the two of them that... and then have Sam will have the powers and she can kill her. Job done. 
Yeah, but then that's an issue if you got Sam with Why? all these powers. Why is it an issue? She, she had to leave, right? And that what they said earlier in the season, so she goes to the future of the Legion. Boom. But I, I guess so. But I figure there'd be, because at this point, Supergirl couldn't beat her by herself. You know what I mean? So, where, right, where... she's not magically going to get more powerful. So, use Kryptonite, get Sam, use her. She goes to the future. Season wraps up. I guess so. Either that, or they'll bring another world killer in, which would yeah, have, which, which would have to be Doomsday. Because now she's got three oh. lo three lots of power. You can't just bring in some average world killer with one set of powers and expect her to take on someone with You're not three. gonna get Doomsday. Zod showing up on Krypton is the only thing you'll get in this year. Be grateful for it. Now, I honestly think if Lena turns front page, I think there's gonna be a phone call. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the common will be a phone call. On one side phone call, you'll never hear that. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I, I, I think we might get a phone call. <laughs> Let's do <talk> numbers. <laughs> it, it was fine, I'll give it a seven. Uh, yeah, same. Yeah, it wasn't anything amazing. Um, it, was, it, it was nice, so it wasn't bad. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. I'll see you next time on The Hub.